Hello dear friends. I am Dr. Chinu Agrawal, a psychologist, director Feeling Minds and trustee Hema Foundation. Friends, Hema Foundation is dedicated to bring human values to the forefront. And human values are basically embedded in human emotions. The emotions which are most important to us are love, intimacy, respect and safety. As soon as we are born into this world, the big bad world scares us and we look for someone who can protect us. That someone is the primary caregiver or our parent mostly our mother who holds that small little infant and brings it closer to her own heart. She provides us all the security that we needed to survive. We gradually start flourishing under her care. But very soon we start crawling we start standing up on our own feet. We start walking. And then we gain our own voice. We start speaking. We start saying, oh, I don't want to eat this food. I don't want to wear this cloth. I don't want to comb my hair like this. I don't want to study. I want to play. The mother, the father, they are now called upon not only to love, nurture and nourish us, but also to discipline us. And of course, who likes rules and regulations? None of us do. In the movie that we are presenting to you for the value of love and respect, the name of that movie is The Real God, where we are trying to depict how the mother and father keep on giving unconditional love to that boy who is now on his journey to assert independence who starts saying it is my own life i will make my own choices if i want to play games i will do that in that process of asserting independence he forgets to be concerned about the very people who have brought him up. And my dear friends, that's not so abnormal. We all pass through this delicate phase where we want to say to the world that I am grown up now, acknowledge my existence, I have my own opinions. And is it really wrong to say that? No. While growing up, you yourself have matured. You have opinions about so many things. You want to act and behave independently of your parents' instructions. And it will be so useful if parents and teachers also start acknowledging this need of independence. Instead of imposing and instructing, they start having some more patience. They start listening to these growing children, acknowledging their opinions and respecting them. Because respect, my dear friends, is a two-way street. It cannot be just demanded. One cannot say that just because I am elder to you, you should respect me. Or just because I'm your parent or your teacher, you should respect me. When children are growing through this journey of dependence to independence and then finally they will come to understand that their parents and their teachers are on their side of the fence. They're very much their own team and they will come to realize the importance of interdependence. And for that to happen, we need to have 
much more patience and give respect in order to gain respect. In this week and the following month when we are going to discuss intimacy, respect and the value of love, we expect you to ponder over these issues as parents, as teachers, as children, as growing up teenagers and adolescents and as young adults as well. Please go through the movie and the tasks, experiment, explore and then let us know what was your experience of understanding these very delicate issues and come up with your own opinions. We are waiting to hear from you. Thank you so much.